this book. Yeah. This is something that I have been making over the last 30 years. Oh, wonderful. How uh, I have, like, the article that was published in the Ellenwood Leader in May of 1953 that I was reading, but my grandmother was interviewed for the Diamond Jubilee of Ellenwood that was coming up. What, what year was the diamond? Like, in 1953. Okay, would that, was that 100 years, 75 yeah, years? 75, I think. Five, yeah. Right. And she was 84 years old when she gave this interview. Oh, wonderful. That's a that year we, younger than you. And that she, uh, that would have been 66 years ago. And I'm 84 years old. Oh, you are. Wonderful. I'll be 85 next month. So, and so what? What did she? So some of the stories that you've told us are from this. She told she was interviewed by a reporter, okay. and she was telling. They were asking questions, and she was telling them. Okay. So I was able to get a copy of that, mm -hmm. and I put it in the scrapbook for my children. Wonderful. Where do you get? Where did you find a copy of that? At the Elwood Leader office. Okay. Do they still have a locally owned paper? We still have a local paper. That's a picture of my grandmother. Oh, wonderful. When she, for when she received her 50 European with the Order of the Eastern Star. Mm -hmm. So my children would, and grandchildren will have an idea of what she looked like. And this is her three living sons. And the barn behind them is, the, is made out of cypress. The chicken house is made out of cypress. The storage sheds were made from cypress. Okay, and so one of those men is your... This one's my father. Father, okay. Uh -huh. And my uncles. And do you So that's your grandmother. That's my grandmother. And that is... That's when the... Eastern Star. Star chapter gave her her 50-year pin. Okay. Were you an Eastern Star too? Yes. Okay. And this is my Uncle Henry, my father, and my Uncle Bill, and Uncle Bill is the one that graduated from Kansas State in electricity, electrical engineering, and is taken in front of the barn built from cypress lumber by his father. Okay, wonderful. I think that's too dark. I think we can see it. That's my father in his World War I Army uniform. He looks very sharp. What's this registration card? For the military. Okay. This is... This is the, what some of the farm equipment he made? Well, this is a story that was published in the Great Bend Tribute in 1949. And that's April the 22nd, 1936, and that's the baptismal picture that was taken. So is that you? That's me. I had been very sick and was learning to walk again. That's why I'm so bow-legged in the picture. Okay, I, didn't. I didn't have polio. I had had, uh, I don't know, like a cold or something, couldn't get over. But I was late. I had learned, just started learning to walk, and then I was sick, and it was a while before I could be back up again. So I was very bow-legged. And this is the high school pictures of my brother Virgil, my brother William, and myself. This is the house we lived in when we were little, and then my father bought and moved to higher ground because we were always flooded. One mm -hmm. of the times when the Arkansas River flooded, I went 54 days without ever touching land. What did you do, stay on the second floor? No, we were on the first floor, oh. but the, the water actually washed out a quarter of the porch foundation. Oh. Goodness gracious. Okay. So after that, why the house, my father bought the house. It was a rented house. We bought it and he moved it across the road from his parents. And that's a picture of my mother and father and the barn back there. And uh, this is my mother and father 
and my husband, Bill Barton, at his, high, his college graduation. And that's my brother and his wife, my brother Virgil and his wife, Mary Ann, and myself and my husband. And this is a picture of the family in 1959. You can see our barn again. And this is a picture that was taken when the church uh, had a 100-year anniversary and we, they kind of changed the church around like it was 100 years ago. We had a wood stove set in the middle of the aisle and uh, one at the back. And we wore our old time costumes. And that's myself and my daughter and my mother. That's me as a little girl in the squash patch. Mm -hmm. We always grew war winter squash mm -hmm. as stored it upstairs. That's me cleaning a catfish at a fish cleaning station. That's a big catfish. And then this is me with the amberjack that I caught off of Port Isabel. And uh, took me so long to land it that we had to pay overtime. And mm -hmm. she got sick from the fumes and the rock and the rolling. <laughs> I'm serving punch at the new Garney building with the company that my husband worked for. And we were having open house. Mm -hmm. 